Hey guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul and this is Tech and Travel. So, a little while ago I made a video with my LG OLED TV showing you some 4K HDR gaming using my PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, but, you know, I've been thinking it's not all about, uh, you know, the high-end sort of 4K HDR gaming. I live in the real world like you guys and sometimes you play lower resolution stuff and I always like to be honest and upfront with my videos and how these TVs um, can handle lower resolution stuff. So today I thought I'd do something a bit different and I'm going to try out a couple of retro games consoles. So we have the Nintendo Classic Mini. Um, we've had this one a little while, so this one has already been out of the box. Um, and then I've picked up this one, which is brand spanking new and still sealed, as you can see. And this is the PlayStation Classic. And, you know, back in the days, I had the uh, original versions of these and enjoyed them both. So, yeah, it will be uh, interesting to try this one out on the TV and show you guys, you know, what you can expect um, what it would look like on an OLED TV. Like I said, it's, you know, live in the real world. It's not always about, you know, the uh, the best resolution stuff. You know, I can show you that sort of stuff all day long and blow you away. But, you know, how it will look to you guys, you know, is, is another thing when it comes to this sort of uh, stuff. So anyway, uh, let's crack on. And I think to start off with, we will go for the Nintendo Classic Mini. Okay, so we've now got the Nintendo out of the box and we've got it all wired up. But um, I didn't want to turn this into an unboxing video, but what I'll do, I'll just briefly show you guys how I've got it set up, you know, for any of you guys who ain't gonna know. So I've got HDMI cable at the moment. I've got that directly into the TV because I want to show you um, what it's like uninterrupted single signal, should I say, not going for an amp or anything like that. Um, and the settings I will have on on the TV will just be the standard game mode settings. I've reset them to the factory default, so I've not messed with them in any way. Um, Power-wise for this, um, I don't know about the PlayStation 1 I have to see in the box. You get a USB cable to micro USB, and I have got that plugged into a power bank. Um, you do not get any plug with this whatsoever, so you'd have to use your own. And then you get your couple of wired controllers, and these are simply got a connection like that on the end, I don't know what you call it. Um, and yeah, these that simply just pops in there. On off button, reset. Um, yeah, that's about it. So we've got no signal at the moment because we've not got it turned on. And uh, let's fire it up, see what it's like. There we go, red light. So we should. There we go. Right, let's uh, find a game and crack on. So the, uh, the first game I think we're gonna get up will be Super Mario Kart. Now I, I did say that um, I'm not running the HDMI through an amp or anything but I have got the TV connected up to the amp via a optical lead so the sound that you're hearing is actually being produced by that amp and these Kev speakers. So I'm going to give me son the go-ahead and get underway with Super Mario Kart so crack on then mate. So, I don't know how it's coming across to you guys, but already got your black bars either side and a little bit of a bar at the top and bottom. Yeah, that'll do. And yeah, they look nice and black, which emphasizes the colors. Go on then. So, so far, you know, it's not looking too bad, to be honest. You've got to remember, you know, this isn't high sort of quality sort of stuff, yes, not 4K or HDR. 
So let's crack on with this race then boys. So right, we've got the race underway. And yeah, don't look too bad. Again, it's not up to uh, your PlayStation Pro sort of graphics, but just looking at it as a, uh, from the standpoint of you know what it looks like visually on an OLED, yeah, it looks really good. Like I say, the black bars at the side, you know, obviously a proper black, not grey. Bit of reflection if you come round on you know, a bit of an obscure sort of angle there. But then we have got a south facing window. You have to excuse uh, if you hear any heavy breathing from me. It's about 30 degrees here today, so uh, yeah, we are suffering from the heat a bit. Just moving a bit closer and have a look. Yeah, it looks nice and uh, like sharp edges and all that. Because obviously the TV is no doubt trying to upscale it to 4K. Obviously, you know, the, the graphics ain't up to that. But yeah, you know, it's nice crisp edges on along there. I don't think, you know, anyone would be disappointed with that. The colours look nice, nice and vibrant. So uh, now we've had a quick go on Mario Kart and a race there. I think we'll uh, move on to the next game. Right, so next up we have a uh, what's it? Oh, Super Mario World. There you go. Again, colours pop in there. You know, people say that the colours ain't as good on OLEDs. I don't think they're that bad at all. They look good to me. Like I said, these are... I'll quickly show you these are completely sort of standard settings. This is in game mode there as you can see. And I'll just show you actually what those set standard settings are. So you've got OLED light 80, contrast 95, brightness 50, sharpness 20, colour 65. Yeah, and that's how it comes out of the box. Yeah, I'll just prove it or actually just reset them. Yeah, so there you go. Yeah, it's all the same as what it was. So uh, yeah, let's crack on with a bit of Super Mario World. Right, and we are off. You have to excuse me, son. Uh, he's never played this before in his life, so it's a, a learning curve for him. Again, like I said just as before, colours look nice and vibrant. Edges are all nice and crisp. The blacks are actually black, not grey. You have to excuse any sort of weirdness on, on the screen there. That is just purely the foam having a bit of a wobbly because of the screen being so close. But I'll sit down here in my usual sort of viewing seat and uh, yeah, all looks good. And I, I failed to mention, because I'm so used to doing these videos and most people know what TV I've got, this is the 65 inch LG B8 model. So, you know, let me uh, know what you guys think. Again, bit coming right round at an obscure angle, getting quite a bit of reflect, reflection there. Um, when you come round there, it seems to be fine. You can see it again when it goes off. You can see the reflection, but when you're actually playing, it seems to be fine. So yeah, how does it look to you guys? How does it compare to what you've already got? And have you guys got any of these consoles? If you've already got an OLED, um. And you've got one of these consoles, I'd like to hear your thoughts on them, you know, how you rate it. I think it's better on my OLED than it was on my previous Samsung. You know, I'm not bashing Sam's, Samsung TVs, you know, they make great TVs. But this, I think, really makes it pop. It looks amazing. Really, really good. I think the black bars at the side, um, well, and a little bit at the top and the bottom, just really make it stand out. Yeah, and those colours really pop. 
So, uh, let's find one more game to have a go with the uh, Nintendo, and then after that we get on with the PlayStation. Right, so uh, next up, I think we're going to have a go on the old classic, Donkey Kong. Fire it up. So here we are with Donkey Kong. Again, looks great. Those blacks really emphasising the colours yet again. You know, people say, you know, at OLEDs, oh, what's the big deal about the black levels on it and that? It's all about the brightness. That's why you should go for a QLED. But personally, I think that's more than bright enough. And the, it's the blacks that emphasise everything else. You know, it's each to their own and all that. And, you know, if people like a QLED, that's fair enough. But for me, yeah, I, f I think the blacks really make it. You know, it's not like it's really dim anyway. You know, like I said, we're in a bright room here. Yes, there's a, some reflection, but the, the angle that we're sat at, it's not a problem. I'll sit down here on this side. You know, is, is that bright enough? I think it is. Again, nice crisp, sharp edges there. So yeah, for retro gaming, so far, I think um, the OLEDs, um, you know, are really doing it justice, you know, it's making the games look better than ever. And as well, they're, they're cheap, so cheap to pick up these consoles. I mean, I think I paid, I think it was 25 quid for that one. And um, I think it was only 20 for the PlayStation. So yeah, both for under 50 quid, can't go wrong. Better retro gaming. Let's crack on with the next one, which is the, uh, let's get it up, the PlayStation Classic. Let's fire this up and uh, see what delights this one has to offer. Right, so we now have the PlayStation Classic unboxed. Um, like I said, very first time out of the box, so I don't know what to expect with this one. I'll quickly show you guys the setup again. So once again, HDMI cable plugged directly into the TV. And for anyone wondering what HDMI cables I use, I actually use Amazon Basics. Um, I find them more than adequate and they are very thick. Um, great value for money. So anyway, back to the console. Very similar sort of setup. There was no um, plug in the box. So once again, it's plugged just into a power pack supplied with a USB to micro USB. Then you've got your two controllers, which are USB on the end and simply plug in like so. We have a orange light on and all we got to do is hit the power button for the very first turn on. So let's fire it up. We've got green light. Oh, that sound, that brings back the memories, that's for sure. And yeah, we're, we're on the uh, game selection by the looks of it. So should we start off with a bit of Resident Evil then? So let's find Resident Evil and find uh, fire it up. Yep. Oh blimey, this is bringing back the memories again. And we are off. Go on then, mate. Explore away. So yeah, again, nice and bright looking. Just prove that we're on exactly the same settings as before, because I know people aren't always uh, willing to believe what you say, which is fair enough. And yeah, game mode, same settings as last time. So there we go. And it's looking pretty good. Don't get me wrong, the graphics aren't the best. That's the console's fault. Nothing to do with the TV, but you know, black levels looking really good. Colours, what there is of them, look nice. 
And, you know, I think it's doing a, you know, a really, really good job, to be honest. Again, the viewing angles, if I show you what they're like. Get a bit of reflection, but yeah, the angles, as you can see, very good. So what we do now is we'll move on to something a bit more exciting, I think. So let's crack on with the next one. Right, so next up is Cool Borders 2. And dare I say it again, look how nice the blacks look on that, making that colour pop. You know, it's uh, really bringing it out. So crack on with the game then, mate, let's see what it's like. And we are off. Hopefully me some might be a bit better at this one. Like I said, in all fairness, he's not played any of these games before, so he ain't got a clue. Control is all different to him. Yeah, looking pretty good. Must admit the graphics are a bit uh yeah crap to say the least, but <laughs> I've not heard the best things about the PlayStation console. People have said that it could be a lot better. But anyway, this isn't a review about the, those consoles themselves. It's about how well an OLED TV handles not so great um, content. So I think that's uh, more than adequate and, dare I say it, probably as good as you're actually going to get on any TV. Move around the side again. As you can see now, the light's dropping a little bit, the reflections aren't quite as bad. A minute ago, it's sort of um, probably at the worst angle it could possibly be at. Let's pull back a bit and have a look what it's like further away. Like I said, this is a 65 inch version of the B8 OLED. There you have it then guys. Once again, I apologize for the profuse sweating and huffing and puffing, but it is roasting here today. I think it's now up to like about 32. But anyway, um, hopefully you enjoyed that video. And if you did, really appreciate a thumb, thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, maybe think about subscribing for more of the same in the future. And talking about more of the same, um, if you'd, you guys would like to see me do some more 4k hdr game videos in the future um only today i've picked up this red dead red dead Re redemption yeah that's it too today and apparently that's in uh, hdr and looks stunning so if you'd like to see that maybe a couple of uh, other hdr uh, games then uh, let me know in the comments below anyway uh thanks very much for joining me and hopefully i'll catch you guys on the next one bye for now